the women beat that along with. Congratulations to Debbie Taylor for uh, uh, that's what that I just said victory. there, partner. I, I knew that. I knew that. I wanted to reiterate it. It was a good win for Coach Taylor's team, I think, right now with a record of 4-2. and two. Russ Govan in the jump circle with Darius Garrett. Wes Jones, by the way, one of the officials. He'll put the ball in the air, and this game is underway. Jerry Heater and Wally Rotecki, the other two officials for tonight's basketball game. Into the front court for the Spiders. Out front across the right side is Martell. Martell works that ball on the left wing to Cedric Lindsay. Lindsay left elbow to Darius Brothers. Brothers between the circles to Martell, one of those leftovers from last year. Lindsay, a three-pointer from the right side, got open, and he cans it. Three-nothing Richmond. Yep. Very important that Tribe makes a mental picture of that because he cannot, he can shoot the basketball. You've got to get out and contest it. Russ Dovin out front with it on the right side to Matt Rum. High post pass to McDowell. McDowell looking to penetrate. Ball knocked away from Quinn. Rum chases it down. Matt back the other way with it. A little bit of a break. Nothing there, however. Hangs and bangs from 12 feet. It's up and good. Rum connects. He was four for four from the three-point lineup at uh, Howard the other night, so He's hit at least five shots in a row. 3-2 game. Lindsay into the front court. Lindsay on the left side to Brothers. Brothers back out front to the big guy, Garrett. Right elbow to Martell. Back out front between the circles to Brothers. On the left side to Cedric Lindsay out of Washington, D.C. Brothers will take a three-pointer from the right side. No good. And on the inbounds of line, it was the Richmond Spider. A ball player that tried to get the rebound. And goes back to William and Mary. Both of these teams want to shoot the three. I think it'll be very, very crucial to see how good of the threes they, that they get. Brandon Britt into the front court. Gets a pick from Rustoven. Nothing there. Up front to Shawk. Lob it down underneath to Rustoven. Ball batted away and out of bounds. And it goes back to Richmond. Bad pass by Shawk. Jay, that's what we were talking, was talking about in the keys. We can't get impatient on the offensive end. We've got to wait for the plays to develop and not try to create them all the time. Lindsay on the left wing to Derek Williams. Back out front to Lindsay on the right side to Martell. Martell back out front to uh, Lindsay. Lindsay directing traffic. Gets a pick. Angles to the left. Now coming back to the right wing. That's Garrett. Duck up top to Lindsay. Thought about a three. Pass it into the corner. That is uh, Francis Cedric Martell driving the paint into the lane on the right-handed hook. Baby hook is up and in. It's a 5-2 to two spider lead. Britt into the front court. Works that ball on the right side to Rum, right elbow to McDowell. McDowell guarded by Martell. They're both about 6'6". Lefts that ball on the left wing to Britt. Britt on the right side to Rum. Bounce pass into the corner to Rustovan along that baseline. Double team, Tim down the lane, and the shot off the glass is no good, but he dives, keeps it alive, and Rum has it out front. Excellent effort. That's what Rustovan gives his team. A solid effort for every minute he's on the floor. Britt trying to drive the baseline can back out to Rum. Rum back to Brandon Brittle on that left wing, driving into the paint, down the lane, and a charging foul called on uh, Richmond. Uh, I'm sorry, on against Brit. uh, uh, Brandon Britt against William & Mary. Richmond drawing the charge. Thought I, I thought he was awfully close to that uh, little mini circle they got underneath the bucket. But well, I think, though, you got you, you got to sort of forget it, Jay. You know that it's there, but you got to try to get outside of it, but you can't worry about getting there. Brothers to Lindsay. Lindsay on the right side to Martell. Into the corner to Lindsay. A three-pointer is up and good. The Spiders have started out red hot, and Coach Shaver calls a quick timeout at the 17-10 mark of the first half with Richmond on top 8-2. to two. One of the things that Coach Shaver told me before the ball game began that certainly the game plan was to keep them off the boards and not let them have the shots down low. He said, I'm not exactly quoting here, but if they were red hot, from the outside, that's that's on him because the game plan is to, to kind of not let him have the outside shot, Charlie, but certainly protect the paint. Well, you, it, I, I agree with all that, Jay, but you see a guy that's hit two threes now in the first three minutes of the ball game, you've got to get out and contain him. You've got to get out and get a hand up on the shooter, close out on him so he can't just stand there and aim the shot, which he did on both of his two threes. Matt Rum. Junior from Baltimore will bring the ball in play to Brandon Britt, the sophomore. Brandon from Chesapeake will get it across the timeline. Brandon on the left wing, hands it down to Shawk. Shawk back out front to McDowell, way out front. Bounce pass on the left side to Rustoven. Richmond plays that matchup uh, zone, matchup man-to-man, -man zone, whatever you want to call it. Out front to Rum, Rum angling to the right side. They jump on him pretty good. Left wing now to Britt, Britt into the corner to McDowell. 
McDowell looking down low underneath the rum, and he is hammered from behind. He'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Charlie, we hear good a- patience that time by the Tribe. They moved the ball around until they got an opening and got the ball to somebody who was fouled. We hear a lot about teams playing matchup uh, zone defenses like William & Mary does. What's the di- Are there differences from sure. the way each team plays? Sure. Them? I mean, and, and the, they're developed by the coach. You know, they, everybody talks about a matchup. I think sometimes they're hard to teach, but you know what it is. You're playing man-to-man principles. You're playing zone, and you match people in your area. And many, many coaches let, let even let you follow them through the zone, and they just they just rotate and turn it around. But uh, matchup defenses are tough. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going now to playing man-to-man offenses against them because of how much movement it needs to beat it. Rum hit one of two. Brown and Thornton into the ball game, and it's an eight to three lead for Richmond with the ball on the right side. That's Brothers, tries to go by McDowell, nearly does, gets that ball back out between the circles to Cedric Lindsay, the sophomore, pass down low to the big guy in the paint, and a traveling violation called on Derek Williams. Ball goes back to the tribe. Marcus Thornton, outstanding young freshman for William & Mary, the Washington Post all, uh, first team all uh, met last year out of the D.C. area on the right side to Rum. Rum on the right wing, now to Kendricks Brown. Ken's Looking down low, Rustovan not open. Back out front to McDowell. Now to Kendricks with a high post. Gives it to Thornton. Thornton works that ball on the left wing to Rum. Back out to Marcus Thornton. Thornton on the right side to Kendricks Brown. Brown into the corner to McDowell. McDowell trying to penetrate. Can't lob it down low to uh, Rustovan. Good hands. The ball is trapped against the backboard. Great block by the Spiders. And they come the other way. Into the front court. Martell on the left wing. Stops and pops from 17. No good. Rebound the big guy in the middle. That is uh, Derek Williams, a foul call on Tim Rustover. Now what you got to do, Jay, is get a body on that big fella. If you let him roam around in there, he's going to kill you because he weighs about 275 pounds. 15.44 left in the first half of play. The score, it is Richmond 8 and William and Mary 3. Back after this timeout on the William and Mary Bookstore Tribe Radio Network. By the way, if you're listening and watching on the video stream, we do realize that we're making comments during uh, the uh, break, the uh, timeouts while we're away on the radio side. And we are back courtside. Tribe trailing Richmond early on, eight to three. Tribe shooting 33%, one of three early on, while the Spiders were three of five, 60%. But two of those, Charlie, have come from the three-point range by uh, Mr. Cedric Lindsay. All right, Tribe shooting, as you mentioned, Bill. 33%, yeah. Yeah, 33%. Three shots to five, which is that, you know, situation that, very, very frankly, come out on almost every game where the opposition, Charlie, gets more shots. I know it's early on. We haven't played five minutes yet, but the Tribe. No, Tribe has to have two turnovers and give up one offensive rebound. So, I mean, that's the difference of three shots. Derek Williams' free throw is up and good. So it is a nine to three. Richmond lead. Derek Williams, first point. The sophomore out of Harlem makes the second free throw as well, and it's now 10 to 3. Pressure. Thornton to Rum in the backcourt. Pop pass to McDowell. McDowell will dribble it into the paint down the lane on the right side. Ball blocked away beautifully by Martell. Cedric Lindsay coming back the other way with it to Richmond. Right side. Left side now to Martell for three. Partially blocked, I think, and Rustovan got the rebound. McDowell partially blocked that shot. Into the front court, 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 into the lane, down the lane, high off the glass, no good. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Last touch by Richmond, and it stays with William and Mary.